Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts have made it through, purple hearts it resonates, green hearts you're working on it, yellow hearts you're rocking. We got my six. I mean to have my back because I have yours. My grandbaby was on my desk. So there you have it. That's why you see it this way. All right, you guys. Um, it is my birthday season. It's almost over, but I celebrate for the month for like probably two months. Even though my chaotic schedule has been the way it is, I'm still calling myself trying to celebrate. Um, you guys, I'm going to pull a message to see what energy needs to come out to see what we're going to talk about or what you're feeling. Yeah, forging a new path. That is what a lot of cancers and a lot of people are doing um, with all of the moves when it comes to the quasars the ozars all of those different things it's just telling us to forge a new path but at the bottom of the deck uh fulfillment yeah fulfillment says you don't need anyone's approval to pursue pursue and fulfill your purpose embrace your unique journey and trust that it's leading to where you need to go and so that is the fulfillment that is what's happening you're fulfilling the things that you know maybe you have uh put on hold uh, in the past, but you're doing some type of fulfillment when it comes to dealing with any and everything that you have going on. And then forging a new path is a part of it. When you make new choices, you create new results. Let go of old patterns and embrace the power of possibility. You are fully, you are fully supported. And so, yeah, you are fully supported. You are, you know, forging new paths. You're fulfilling all the things that you want. Let's see what you have been dealing with in the past. Um, to see what is going on broken mirror energies to see what it is that you have been you know waiting and holding on yeah reconciliation so it says harmony resolving issues and getting back together so you could be resolving issues from the past and fulfilling your things but conflict resolution yeah maybe you're wanting to talk about it or somebody you you're fulfilling your your purpose and you know um, there is positive outcomes when it comes to you but somebody also wants to make amends because conflict resolution. So this could be your energy um, or somebody that you're dealing with, ener energy, um, unknown caller. I think that somebody wants to um, talk about the past and make amends of the past because um, you resolving the issues and living in harmony, somebody wants to get back together. That's where the reconciliation card is coming in at, unless it's your energy and you want to do that. Uh, no, that one didn't turn over. I should have looked at it, but I did not. But yeah, you are basically forging a new path. And that new patch, path could be you and the person that you used to be dealing with. But we're not talking about them. All of these cards came out. I'm going to take this because it was under my hand. Expressive. So somebody wants to express themselves. Yeah, password box, privacy confidential, team spirit. We got spirit. Yes, we do. We got spirit. How about you? This is somebody speaking negatively on you. That's how I feel about that card. Gossip. Yep, exactly. So um, jealous. Somebody that was jealous of you in the past. Um, somebody, it says reliable expecting expectations, good news, and trust. I haven't even picked up the cards that are in my lap. Let's see. These cards, oh, they all came in the reverse. Day, so a decision. It says day, uh, and it's in the reverse. So there's some type of decision or unknown decision, and it says, um restart so you're unsure if you want to restart this energy the adventure you don't know um there it this says unknown here courage but you're not ready to yeah do any type of negotiation when it comes to somebody else initiation initiating uh, a reconciliation or even trying to the sun energy is here it says do not approach uh distance and harm because the sun energy is uh, usually growth, and it's in the reverse. So somebody hasn't grown, and the loyalty is uh, in the reverse as well. So somebody hasn't been loyal to this cause. And you know what? You're only looking to make new mem memories, not old. So that is the energy that I see uh, when it comes to a reconciliation. You're not even trying to. It, forging a new path has nothing to do with this old love. Um, and you might want to resolve a conflict, or somebody might want to resolve a conflict because at some point, you felt like somebody was gossiping about you. That's where I said when it comes to the curse, people talking negatively about you and sending negative energy towards you. You don't, you know, the conflict resolution is the dark times that you went through and you're fulfilling your own situations now. This comes, yeah, 
There's no jealousy, no envy. Yeah, because this says jealous right here. There's no jealous or envy energy, and you just don't want to hear it. Yeah. So you don't want to hear the gossip. You don't want to hear the apologies. You don't want to hear anything. Fighting for you what you love. Oh, fighting for you what you love. So yeah, you're not you're not worried about this because if I look down at the cards that are underneath the bottom of the deck, it says whatever you wish. Unknown caller, somebody stalking an unknown number, reliable, and it says good expectations, good news, trust, and then it says fighting for you, what uh, you love, and it says claiming what's yours, love is a battlefield. Love is a battlefield. Y'all know that song? Anyway, if you're a particular age, yeah. Anyway, so that is it. You're not, you're not, yeah, you're not um, trying to revisit the past, and um, to the people that are, maybe it was something that, you know, you had to talk about and deal with, but this might not be your energy because you don't want to hear anything from the past. You want to move forward uh, towards the future. Yeah, endings. Okay, so you want new beginnings. No more endings that's going to cause um, in the reverse. The death is in the reverse. So all of this energy is in the reverse. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform. What What's dead is dead. And so um, this is the energy that you're not jealous. Um, the beginnings are new beginnings for you. Bottom of the deck is cut it down. Yeah, cut it out. Separation. Step, step, stop the patterns and silent treatment. You don't want to hear it. Yeah, so that's what it is. You're not looking to do this. Twin Flames is here. Yin and Yang, imbalance, union, duality, uh, com, compliments, and it says polar opposite. So um, this person is a polar opposite of you, but you're not even trying to listen or hear that. Um, if that makes sense. So uh, that's where the new things that come in your life are what you're fulfilling. And that's why you're forging a new path, not trying to, all of these cards almost fell out, but uh, I didn't, I'm not taking them. But, you know, you're trying to move forward. And this person is still want to talk about old conversations. You know, if you think about the game of life and how to play it, if you guys have read it, it says, I don't want to have old conversations. Those old conversations, it's like, um, you know how, I don't know if you guys, uh, if your parents ever said, so yeah, this unsure energy about the past, yeah, rekindling. So yeah, the feelings, it says every relationship has those magical moments, um, that can be rekindled. I'm sorry. I was looking over my microphone is like right here, but the feelings is here. Take time to explore the deep emotions and your experiences. So past life energies, you're unsure about the past life. It says we reunite with our loved ones over and over in different lives you're not trying to do that this you're thinking the universe is putting you to the test it says your strength and weaknesses are being tested and the commitment is here unsure about a commitment commitment is an important factor in building a successful relationship so the tree tell the tree what you really think so you're unsure about all of this uh, energy when it comes to marriage marriage is a soul marriage of souls is the union of two divine opponents so twin flame showed his face uh, as well. So opposites attract. At some point, you felt the need to want to revisit this. But right now, you're not even trying to live in the past. You're trying to move forward. Unsure energy comes with host. Yeah. It says um, whether your space is physical or digital, you could find a lot of fulfillment in being being a host. So um, this is you living with somebody in the 5D. Um, this is also, this card deck is for yeah, a leader manifesting uh, money or whatever. But a leader, it says, as a, as a born leader, uh, you can truly bring out the best in others by guiding them and inspiring them. So you've inspired, excuse me, I know that sounds really great to hear my voice, not that loud though. You've inspired several people. Yeah, you have a decision to make. You have a decision to make and you don't want to hear anything when it comes to the past emotions because again, um, the host type of energy, it says whether your space is physical or digital, um, you could find a lot of fulfillment in being a host. Yeah, a host to positive energies, not to, you know, trying to rekindle old flames and things like that. So I'm going to pull tarot to see what comes out. Yep, okay. Yep, five of pentacles. So there was struggle here. There was struggle. There was lack. When it came to this five years, you've been dealing with this situation where, this person, you know, again, they want to relive energies. And all you saw was like, no, I want to move forward. But there was struggle there. Five years of struggle. The card comes out. Wheel of Fortune, yeah. So it says round and around. What card was that? The past life. It says we reunite with uh, our our lovers 
uh, our loved ones over and over in different lives. You're not trying to do that. Uh, Will of Fortune energy um, just let you know that, you know, you've been going with the flow. You've been rolling with the punches. But now the struggle, you know why it is. The struggle is real. And the Five of Pentacles just let you know that, you know, when it comes to a lack mindset and, you know, you isolating yourself, it's because you worry about a lot. A card fail. Oh, it's on the floor. And it's the lover's energy. Um, yeah. So, and it's uh, like that, uh, unsure. So you're unsure about this thing. Um, going following your heart and things like that you're unsure about the type of energies that happens when you follow your heart especially when it comes to this energy because again this is making head over heart decisions not heart over head decisions when it's unsure um, yeah queen of wands you're confident now you don't really need anybody to make a decision for you you've already ended it you're not trying to revisit the past all you're trying to do is you know find people that are reliable you know people that will, will be willing to fight for you that have the same emotions and feelings that you have. Yeah, look at that, the full energy. Uh, bottom of the deck is the page of wands. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment. So you planted the seeds, eight of pentacles, oh, excuse me, seven of pentacles energy. And now, you know, you're living in the present moment, not the past. So you're not trying to revisit the past when it comes to dealing with this type of emotions. And so let me go ahead and pull another tarot to see what's in, where your energy is when it comes to this. So you... You know, taking a leap and being the fool is like knowing that uh, knowing that you know nothing is basically what it is. But it also is knowing that, you know, you can make these mistakes or these decisions. And, you know, sometimes it's just like easier um, to just kind of take a leap and go with the flow. But you're going with forging a new path. And that's where you have to not revisit the past, but let go of the past, live in the present moment, which is the. Uh, page of wands and know that yesterday is history tomorrow's a mystery the only thing that's real is the present moment yeah and it comes with the ace of swords having clarity making head over hard decisions you know um, being able to you know have this breakthrough with these success the new ideas and also understanding six of pentacles energy the way that you give your energy six of pentacles given to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself and so when it comes to those types of energies you have to be the one to say, hey, no, I can't do this anymore, you know? And so I thought a card turned over. Six of Pentacles energy, six years. So you got five and six years you're deciding to make a decision, yeah, to get rid of the toxic energy. So, again, this could be codependent. So you could be given to a codependent type energy or twin flame energy or energy that doesn't mean you will, um, meaning that that wants to go, at, you know, the ebb and flows keep going around and around, you going with the flow and rolling with the punches until – you turn around, yep, look at that. The Five of Pentacles, again, you realize that you're not going to struggle with this energy anymore. Five of Pentacles in the reverse, you know, you're not going to struggle with this energy anymore. You know, this is you recovering from any kind of financial loss because the Five of Pentacles is right here. This is you recovering from any kind of financial loss, understanding that the way you give to this toxic situations, you're not doing that anymore. And that comes with the Three of Cups energy finding out people who are grateful for you. There are people who are grateful for you and people who are not, but this is you understanding what success is and how you will be victorious when it comes to the conflicts and also being defensive and why you are that way. So that's kind of how I see this energy. It's not an easy energy to deal with, but at the same time, you have to be the one to uh, make those decisions. Again, uh, head over heart decisions, and that's where the... Um, what is it? The Ace of Swords energy is here. This is a deck of emotions to see where your emotions are. We already have all this energy out here. But, you know, this is to see where you are. Unsure energy of your emotions. When were you last happy and why? So that's why you know that this energy, yep, happy, sad. This is what my baby say. Um, ask me anything. It's like you're happy, sad. This is the Joker energy. But it's like you're happy, sad because, hold on one second. I think my son is calling me out, huh? Okay, yeah, you're happy, sad because, you know, you have all these decisions to make, but at the same time, you have to be the one to be able to say, hey, this is what I need to do with my life and go from there. So at this point, sorry, I'm scooting my seat up. You don't want to ask anybody 
anything. Jack says, ask you anything, but the rekindling and all these different energies, you are basically understanding that I know what makes me happy and sad. And when was the last time that you were happy and why? And that's the reason why it says respect. Can you describe different types of respect? And so that is where you are forging a new path and doing and understanding what reconciliation and why, you know, um, you need to resolve the issues instead of you just keep trying to go with the flow. And that's where I see this energy at. And it's not an easy energy to deal with. But at the same time, you really have to understand that this is about you forging a new path. And it's an emotional path. It's something that you have to deal with um, when it comes to dealing with, you know, your emotions and why you're happy, sad. So since that came out, and I say that so easily because my grandbaby said, she's like, I'm happy, sad when she sees something that is like uh, emotional for her. She's like, I'm happy, sad. And going from there, yeah, there are memories that you have, but you also know that this person is a jackass. And at the same time, you have to realize that, yeah, all of these things will basically make you feel some type of way. And, you know, the only thing that you can do when it comes to love is to let go and lo what is it? Let go and let God. And that's that. And that that is finding people who complete you and not deplete you. And, and it's easier said than done. And that's the reason why you keep going back and forth and trying to, yeah, um, trying to make things happen because you take chances and gamble and take these risks because, again, you want to be happy. You don't want to be sad. But this is bliss and happiness about where you are moving forward. Why did I put that there? Wait, I think that came out. Yeah. So you want it, you want to be happy and be blissful and things like that. Yeah, but here it is. The storm is here. Tur turmoil's coming ahead. But the turmoils are actually something that you've been been through with the past and you're not willing to live that way. You're living in the present moment. And so that is how I see that energy. The memories of what it is that you need to be a part of are basically understanding why you have to forge a new path and, and fulfill your goals and not anyone else. And you can't worry about the past. There are memories. You see that there was gossip. There was all of these things. You didn't want to hear it anymore. And you had to stop and set boundaries. And you had to really think about if this is worth you rekindling. And at some point, you already know the answer. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from the crystal deck, uh, which is the yeah, chrome diopside. And then I'll pull from the four agreements. And um, if you want to know my perspective of the four agreements, um, you can click the links up above uh, for the four agreements, which is the fifth agreement, four, one through four. And then there's also the fifth agreement and also the chakras, uh, which are up here. Uh, I'll click the links or click the links. Excuse me. Um, the chrome diopside is your heart chakra. Send strength and healing period to a person, place, thing or situation because you got to remember no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your teacher this person place thing or situation was here to teach you a lesson and the lesson is to how to forge a new path and not want to hear the past energies and to you know not even be upset about it and this is because moving forward you're going to be impeccable with your words so it's integration release and growth and that's why the three of cups came out somewhere i think it's back there the three of cups came out because you're integrating new 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 processes you're taking leaps for yourself you're realizing the last time you were happy and then release and growth is also here you're growing and that's where the difference is of the sun being in the reverse because again you're expressing yourself you're very expressive it says i am emotionally and physically healed and whole i am emotion emotionally and physically healed and whole and that is where you are and it says, be impeccable with your words. Seek to know the truth. It says, when you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement and it becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on the truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. And that is where you are. The truth has the power to set you free. And this is the truth. You living in the truth and understanding the truth of your past and not really just... Um, you know, holding on to it. And it's a test. The universe is testing you in regards to how you deal with the energies of the past. And that is how I see that. So let's go ahead and let this old energy go. Again, you guys, I love you. Happy birthday. I hope you guys all have my six like I have yours. Um, you know, I know I've been in and out. I, I'm, 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 you know, doing stuff, making things happen. So um, I really appreciate you guys for rocking with me the way um, you have been. So Let's let this old energy go.
I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you. Bye-bye.